Hi, welcome to Arduino tutorial from Robojax. In this video, we are going to learn how we can use this USB to UART module with Arduino using a relay to control a light via use, uh, uh, PowerShell from Windows, from this screen. So this, mm, for example, when we uh, say turn on and you see I'm sending the command, the light is on, and then if I send it off, the light will be off. You can get the code for this project by clicking on the link in the description below, which will take you to robojax.com slash learn slash Arduino. So let's get started. So I'm going to present the code for this project in two sections. One will be the total command that you will type here. Also, then I'm going to make it simple by writing the uh, PowerShell script and I will provide the PowerShell script that you can download. So a word of warning that when you connect AC, actually this is live AC uh, voltage here connected. If you are connecting it, be very careful. Do not touch the module or anything. And also make sure underneath it's uh, uh, non-conductive material and uh, keep it away from metal or any other stuff that will be underneath. Because in this video, we are going to see how we can do the connection for this type of USB FTDI and this one and also the wiring and also after that I'm going to show you how you can do the uh, PowerShell command to send command to the relay to turn on and off a light and after that I'm going to show you the shell scripting so and also explain the code and demonstration all of this will take long for that reason I'm going to create a direct link to each section of the video at the description below in case if you initially wanted to just escape and go to a certain portion or if you will come for the second time to view it you can easily go and uh, visit that uh, directly to that portion of the video from now on so let me explain the AC bulb here so this is a table light fitted to the wall outlet and the wire goes and will be turned on but I have disconnected one of these two wires here I've just cut this wire from here now this can be connected to the uh, relay the relay job is to just connect it so it will be on and disconnected will be off I've just twisted them and then put some solder so this can be inserted into a connector with a screw now let me explain the wiring for the relay we have three pins here so for the relay we have three pins here VCC ground and N VCC will be connected to 5 volts ground will be connected to the ground of Arduino and then N is connected to the pin 8 so that pin 8 sends the command here it has two lights the red is the power light green is when it receives the command this will be turned on there are three pins here so these the middle pin the middle pin you do not change it but the other wires go will go either here if you connect it here this relay without any power will be connecting these two wires that i just showed you for the ac so when you send a command it will turn it off but for normal usage you will put your two wires here in case if your relay is different or you got some issues on is off and off is on do not change the middle wire just go here or here change this wire and you will get the right result but I've connected these two wires here and then so as you can see here that, that this is a 5 volts and this is a ground that goes to, to this relay and this goes to pin 8 that this is a ground so you can use that ground or one of the grounds here and this is the last pin, last pin that we have here it says RX so this will receive the command here these two will be connected so the last one is a ground last second one so not the first one the second one is labeled as ground so this will be connected to the ground of Arduino and then the TX of this one which is the second pin will be connected to RX so this is transmitting and this is receiving so TX transmit receive RX now if you're using this one exactly the same thing so the last pin is uh, ground I'm, I've, I've connected this one to the ground which is the last pin and then uh, the third pin here and then the third pin is the TX so this is the transmit will go to the receive that's it this was the wiring
Let me explain now the code here. We're defining an Rx value here as zero. So this is a variable that's holding the command that you are sending as six or two. And then we are defining relay as a variable with a value eight. So this will be used as a uh, substitution for eight on our command. And then this is, these two are the important one. Six is an integer type. We call it command or come on and then command off so for two so make sure that change this if you want to accordingly so they do not conflict make sure they're unique so you don't mix up this eight with this eight but doesn't matter it, it, you can have also eight so with the six we'll turn on the light and with two it will turn it off and inside the setup we just start from here to here we set the serial monitor 9600 baht this is very important that mm, we should have it at the same rate as the USB on the device manager that I just showed you. And then we set relay, this is eight as a pen as output. So pen eight will be as an output. And also we set the relay off initially. So high is off because this is low trigger. And also we print this text, which is this one. After this, inside the loop, we check if serial is available. So this starts from here to here inside this loop which starts from here to here so if this is true which means if we got some value from the serial monitor then read serial monitor and store it in our x value inside this and here we check with the f from here to here so we say our x value is equal equal there is two equal come on so the command on is if it is equal this value which is a six then do this three line the first line it says pen eight should be low relay is low so this sends a pen eight command to the relay so it turns on the relay and then this these two will print this text and the code here for us so we know what code was sent also on the screen and then otherwise it will just ignore it and also here we check if the code is equal off make sure the off code which is two here uh, if this is equal, the code that is received is equal this then do this three line the first line it sends the relay to low which is uh, to high to turn it off and also print this text and the loop continues like that and runs now let's open a powershell just press here and then type p Oh, as, you, as soon as you type PO PowerShell, just right click here. Do not click, right click and run as administrator. Make sure you're administrator. First, let's find out the USB that you have connected, which port it belongs to. So I'm right clicking on the, on the start menu, go to the device manager. And here and under the COM port, check. So one of these two should be your connection. So this is my Arduino Uno and this is the USB device that I connected USB to UART so this is COM7 very important after that double click go to the setting and make sure that you remember so we have 9600 baht the speed the bit rate the data bit is 8 and then parity is none stop is 1 and that's very important so we need to use all this first we have to create our own object in order to control the system so here is what we do we just type a name for it in this case robojax and then equal we say new and then dash b capital o b g e c t this is uh, uh, case sensitive and make sure that you follow that and then space capital s y s t e m dot io that's capital dot ports dot serial port and then com so i've ca captured this so we are in com 7 here as you can see com 7 9608 so so com 7 comma 9600 comma n o n e none comma eight comma 
one. So you see the one E just overlapped on this side. So let me reduce the screen so you can see it. So after that, just press enter. Now we have created RoboJax that's object. After creating the main object, let's just test it. Just type dollar R O B O J A X. And as you can see, it prints all the details of the port that you have created with the baud rate and all this information. CLS clear screen. To open a port, you just type your object name, robojax.open. Remember that that command is uh, case sensitive. Now it opens. After that, you can write a code or do whatever you want. So in this case, robojax and then you if you want to send hello uh, sorry uh, dot write hello so now it send the command after you finish with writing then you close it so these are the process so you have to open and then do whatever you want it can be one or ten lines and at the end you just close it because the port can be used for something else or the device can be used for other purpose. So this way you just close it. Now let's create uh, variables so we can call the command easily. So we are creating an integer type $p we call it p on equals 6 so the 6 is the to turn on the light I'm pressing enter an integer dollar p off equal two so two is now for turning it off so to call this command we just type p on the value is printed as six here and then dollar p off and that is two uh, clear screen now i'm going to send a command to turn the light on and also you will see the light this light will be on and you will see the light here now let's open the port so the port is opened after that we type uh, we write something so dollar p uh, p on comma zero comma dollar p on dot count and then close it as you can see when i send it six was displayed here and the light is on so to do the power off i'm just pressing the upper arrow on the keyboard here so when i press the upper arrow on the keyboard the code the command is printed i'm just going here and make it this off so when I print now I'm pressing enter pay attention here and pay attention here so this way you just turn on and turn off so in order to run a script we do like that so remember we created so I, I put integer power on and I put six so that's the command to turn it on uh, this opening and closing of this uh, greater than or less than sign and then the this number or hash is common so these are all comments so six is stored in this variable as an integer so we'll turn on and then we create an object remember the code that I showed you so the important part for you it should be exact so you should change this and do not change it unless yours is different so the, the first one that you must change is comp7 so depending on your machine change that this is the same do not change it and do not change and do not change so power on is that one so this you just save it as uh, file save us and then go to the user folder and I saved it as light on dot ps1 that's very important and then 
I have the other one for, for the power off and I call it light off so same thing but the only difference is here so we will run the script to make uh, the command easy now let's see and, and run it so I will run the code first here to show you there are some issues which we have to resolve so um, light as soon as I type light and then press the tab on the keyboard this tab uh, on the left side light on so if I press light on and enter you will see I'm getting all this error because the execution policy doesn't allow you to run the script because this is very dangerous sometimes viruses will be embedded and the uh, people who are attacking the machine they send you a script and your machine is ruined but we know this code doesn't have anything except sending a command so let's change the policy so we were able to do that so first get dash exec exec and then press the tab so it will be completed it says get execution policy as you can see it says restricted now let's change it set exec and then complete set execution policy remote sign I press the, the tab to complete the command remote sign remote sign and enter it will be a lot of uh, warning so to yes to all press press a so I'm pressing a and enter now if I set if I say get execution poli policy you will see it says remote signed this is very important after that now we can run the command so light on and now pay attention here so it did not work let me check we are in com7 and then let me check here com7 light on com7 it making sure it works so I maybe I've not saved it so it worked because I have not saved it the com port was not updated so now if I if I run uh, light off and press enter pay attention to that green light as well so uh, I'm holding it carefully so that was on and then on so this way you can turn on and off a light with these files I'm gonna run this FTDI you might have seen this this is very famous module this however needs mini USB not micro so this is the old type some of the camera had it or maybe even now have it so I have the cable I'm connecting it and then connecting it to the port I'm connecting this now the light is on the two wires that were connected before here from the left it goes to the third one and then this one goes to the ground which is which is the last one now this is ready uh, but I have to make sure that uh, port so now it's com6 it has changed so I'm going and changing this to 6 and then for the off also 6 make sure to click save so both of them are saved so now let's run the command on so it worked and if you see closely here you will see a blank of when I send the command thank you for watching so this was uh, introduction and how to use Thank you for watching. So this was the video on how to use this UART USB uh, module. This is the red one and also this FTDI. With both of these, you can control and send command through USB. 
Thank you for watching. So this was uh, introduction on how to use. Thank you for watching. So this was a video on how to use this UART USB uh, module. This is the red one, and also this FTDI. With both of these, you can control and send.